Hey crafty friends, welcome to day 6 of the 12 cards of Christmas series and today we're going to create a really pretty card and very easy one too. So this card is going to be horizontal so you need to get your card and then we're going to cut the card. Yes, definitely don't get scared. <laughs> we are going to cut the card and then reassemble it so this is going to be really cool so you align your card on the one inch line and then you cut please save this piece because we're going to need it don't throw it away we are going to need that piece now what we're going to do is align the fold line of the card on the one inch line on the right side of our cutting arm okay and then cut so this piece we can discard and what we get what we're left with is the card and this piece on the bottom so what we're gonna do is reattach the card back together with trees but first let's cover the front of the card with two pieces of cardstock and my rule is pretty simple you simply measure the area that you need to cover and then subtract one quarter of an inch so if you need to let's say cover an area of one inch on two inches then you simply three quarter you simply cut a piece of three quarters by one and three quarters that's the rule and then you're left with a nice margin on the edges of the surface that you've covered. The that's really cool. So now I want to show you how to cut your trees. The trees are the those who are going to bind those two pieces together. So I'm measuring roughly, very roughly, the distance between the two pieces that we need to attach and then I'm going to take my ruler and also measure I want to do to make three trees so I need to measure the distance between each of them and now I'm going to draw the first triangle which is going to be my template so first I'm marking one and quarter of an inch little dot there because I want to draw a line. Now I'm marking the the length of the tree which is again three and a quarter and then basically I've drawn a square. Now all I need to do is find the center of the top of the square and then once I have the center I'm going to make a little dot I'm just counting it's very confusing because the center of one and a quarter is five eighths so then from that center point I can draw those diagonal lines to both corners in the bottom and cut and this is my first tree. Now once I cut that first tree I can use it as a template to draw the other two trees and then I'll have three trees and since I'm using a double-sided cardstock I can change the directions of the tree but I think I'm going to use them all on the same side. So simply take your pencil and just two lines, trace two lines while aligning it with the bottom of the paper and then you have two more trees so it's very easy cut them out and once we'll have those trees we'll be able to combine our card or reattach the cards pieces back together so now I have three trees 
and now what I'm going to do is find the center but first before I find the center just cut out one strip of paper and then from that strip of paper cut three little squares 3 8 by 1 and these are going to be the trunks of our trees so now I need to measure to find out where to put them and I've already measured well I'm eyeballing it but you if you need to you measure the center and then you put your first trunk and then you measure the center between the trunk and both edges and once you find that center you put your other trunks as well so I'm just eyeballing it and I hope that looks fine now we can bring in the trees and then combine our card together so what we need to do is align the bottom part with the other side of the card and then apply glue on the top and bottom of the tree let's start with the top the first tree is the tricky one the second and the third tree are trees are much easier so first start with gluing it the tree to the top of the card and then while aligning it with the edge of the card simply attach the tree to the bottom part of the card and then put something on it until the glue dries so it won't pop out or something so now the other two are much easier you apply your glue on the top and the bottom of the triangle and then glue down your tree and then the third one isn't that a really cool idea you get that effect of a gap now once that's dry make sure it's dry before you remove your scissors or the heavy thing that you put on it so this is how the card looks it's really cool now I'm just adding some pearls on the top of each tree you can use rhinestones or little stars or whatever you have in your stash just putting them on top of the trees and then I've also added season greetings with some letter stickers and basically the card is ready I really like this idea it really I love it where there is this gap so I really like that so I hope you like that too and thank you very much for watching make sure to tune in daily because we have 12 cards of Christmas that means we have a new card every day so this is halfway already and I'll see you all tomorrow